Hi YouTubers, Jeff Cote here with Ask PYS. So we've got a question from a fellow boater. Uh, this boater is using a battery combiner and he's got questions. So Jeff, I can I wire the positive leads of an ACR? ACR stands for Automatic, automatic Combiner Relay, which is effectively a battery combiner, right? It allows two batteries to be connected in parallel automatically through a device like this. ACR is a marketing term from Blue Seas. Other companies call them uh, voltage sense relays. It doesn't matter, it's a bunch of words, really. But the most important thing is what does it do? It basically puts your batteries in parallel whenever there's a charging voltage and disconnects them whenever there's lower. So charging voltage for a 12 volt battery might be 13.3 and uh, it's gonna disconnect a 12.8 or 12.9, okay? So basically be generous when you have a lot and be selfish when you don't. That's basically what this device does. And the question is, where do you connect this, right? So he's, he's asking me, do I connect directly to the battery or can I connect it to the battery switch where basically some batteries, remember, are gonna have, and I've got another little sort of prop here, and I'm gonna show you, this is a standard battery switch that we have in a lot of our boats, you know, an off one, two, both, or one and two battery switch. And if you look at this, at the back here, you'll notice there's three posts. There's battery one, battery two, and a common. And as a boater, if you're trying to avoid actually having to put the battery switch on both whenever there's a charging voltage, which could be uh, maybe you have a single output inverter charger and you want to share what's happening on battery one with the, ha with the engine, or you've got an alternator and you've got a single output alternator, which we all do, um, and you want to share what's happening in the engine battery, the house battery, right now you have to do that manually. Constantly reminding yourself that you have to put it onto parallel or both or one and two, which is all again the same words describing the same thing. Um, but the, the dilemma is that ultimately, sometimes as boaters, we forget to turn that switch back off from combine or all or both or one and two. And so the way to avoid us having to be part of the system all the time is to use a battery combiner. So the question from Wayne is, well, where do I connect this, right? Do I connect these posts to the on switch or switch distribution? And if you guys or gals are looking at my diagrams on my website and we have these conceptual diagrams, you'll notice that battery combiners have to always be connected to the unswitch side. Unswitch means a direct connection to the battery. Even when the battery switch is off, this device is always connected to the battery. Now, again, remember the perils and I remind this to everyone. Ignore my advice about unswitch and switch distribution at your peril. Okay, your world is gonna be magical if you, dis, if you disregard my advice. So this absolutely needs to be connected effectively to the positive post unswitch of both battery banks. It can never, ever, ever be switched. Okay, so that's really, really important. So connect a battery combiner to the unswitch distribution. Could be a battery switch. Could be these posts right here, right? Battery post one and two because they're directly connected to the battery. So you can literally have an ACR just above it, right? But you're gonna to need to fuse those leads because you, this is only rated for maybe 120 amps. So you gotta fuse the leads coming into here. And when you fuse a battery combiner, you don't fuse the leads at the battery combiner. You fuse the leads at the beginning of the wires connecting to the battery combiner because the battery is the endless source and you have to connect or fuse both sides. That's also really important. Both sides of the wire have to be fused. So that's my answer on battery combiners and where to connect them. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please ask it below or use our contact form on our website. Support us to keep this channel ad free. Happy to donate my time because I'm a boater too, but help us offset the cost of doing these videos by donating via PayPal or potentially buying some of our merch on our store. And don't forget to subscribe uh, so that you can keep having these weekly and we're producing almost four videos a week now. And thanks again for watching.